So in this case, we need to understand uh, what we are going to be working with uh, in this year. Uh, as we have each and every year, we are going to consider the topics, also the weeks uh, that you're supposed to uh, finish up uh, this, those topics in within uh, the given time uh, that you have. So this is for our grade 11 mathematics uh, 2025, uh, where in our term one, we are supposed to actually able to be working with our exponents and sets. So this is the first part that you are going to be working with. So approximately, you are given uh, an approximation of uh, 4,5 uh, hours per week, which means four and a half hours per week, uh, per week that you're given. So meaning to say, working with the two weeks that you're given, that's an approximation of nine hours that you are supposed to be to, to, to be learning this topic. So in within that time frame, uh, that is in two weeks time, uh, what you're going to be having there is an approximation of nine hours. So meaning to say, guys, uh, that's the, the time is not that enough you actually need to source uh, your extra time uh, so that you'll be able to cater up the topics that you're given because in within these days, remember, you need to work out the topic, the introduction of the topics, and also to understand uh, the questions. How are they being asked uh, from your question papers? So working with the time frame that you're given there, you need to actually adjust as you are revising. So moving on, we've got our equations and inequalities again uh, in within the time frame of four weeks. You'll be working with this, which is an approximation of 18 hours that you're going to be having. And also not forgetting the last part that you're going to be working with, which is the trigonometry. That is, you need to work with the reduction formula, work with the trigonometric equations, uh, and also working with the general solutions, which is an approximation of five weeks that you're going to be working with. That is uh, a lot of time to prepare an approximation of uh, 22,5 hours, which is 22 and a half hours that you're going to have. And remembering that in this term, you are going to actually be investigated. So they are going to give you an investigation all right, which is to be completed by week six. So within uh, the sixth week, you're supposed to be done with your investigation or the project that you're going to be having, which is part of your SPA. And moving on, you also going to work with the test. All right, so we are going to have a test at the end catering all the topics that we had in term one. That is where I was talking about the issue of revision. So if you check properly here, we do not have uh, the space that is actually given for us to say this is now time for revision. So as you are doing the topics, you are working with the revision at the same time. So that's why we actually say uh, grade 11 is the stage where you've got a lot of things to actually look into because you are not just working with the topic, you're working with the topic at the same time, working with a revision of that topic. So uh, expanding these topics that we talked about, remember, we said we're going to start with exponents and sets, where you'd actually need the first part to simplify expressions, solve equations using the laws of exponents for rational exponents. So you're actually going to be working with these typical uh, type of questions. Also, you must be able to add, subtract, multiply, divide, simple sets as you are working with your sets. It's part of your syllabus. So you need to understand that. Then also solve simple equations that involve the sets. So if there is any other part uh, that we actually do not have uh, on this channel, let us communicate, guys. That is the purpose of the comment section so that I'll be able to know uh, the topics that need to be added or the areas that need to be added on what we have already, uh, on what we already have. Then moving on to the equations and uh, inequalities, what exactly are you supposed to work with? You're not just supposed to work any type of an equation, no. In your syllabus, you actually need one to work with the completing of the square. You, you must be able to solve an equation 
by completing the square. That is to complete the square. You are also supposed to solve these equations, which is the quadratic equations by factorization by the use of the quadratic formula. Then also be able to solve the quadratic inequalities in one unknown, all right, where you interpret solutions graphically. And B, it is recommended that the solving of equations in two unknowns is important to be used in other equations like hyperbola straight line as this is normal in the case of graphs. So we are going to actually uh, elaborate that as we are working with our topics as we are moving on. Then also we've got equations with the two unknowns, meaning to say you're working with the simultaneous equations where you're going to be given one which is linear and the other quadratic. These are the types of equations that you need to work with. In your syllabus, one must be linear. One equation must be linear. Another one must be quadratic. Do not just work uh, simultaneous equations for the sake of just revising simultaneous equations. You see a simultaneous equation online, which has got two linear equations. You start to solve that one, 2x plus uh, 3y is equal to 5, whatever that you are given, you start to solve this simultaneous equation. No, this is not part of your syllabus. One of these must be quadratic. Maybe you're given x squared, y squared. One must be linear. So you must have a linear equation and one must be a quadratic where the highest exponent is two. These are the types of equations that you're going to be working with this time. So make sure that you do not just revise any type of an equation. Revise exactly what you have in your syllabus. And also, we are going to work with the nature of uh, the roots when we are working with the solutions, all right? You are dealing with the quadratic equations. You, uh, you need to understand the nature of the solutions or the roots that you are given. Uh, like I said before, the part of the investigation and the project, do not forget that you are going to be actually having that one. All right, we also need to check this part, which is the last part of our trigonometry, where we are going to be working with the reduction formula, the trig equations up to the general solutions. So in that case, you must be able to derive and also use the identities, all right? So there is this identity of tan theta. As you can see, this part is already given. You are supposed to know this, and you're also supposed to know this identity as you are moving uh, with your syllabus, with your revisions. Then also derive and use reduction formula to simplify the following expression. So these ones, you are supposed to know them. It's part of your syllabus. These are the ones that you need, uh, you need to understand as you work with the reduction formula. Then also to determine for which values of a variable an identity holds. Then also to determine the general solutions of trigonometric equations. All right, take note. We talked of what? The general solutions. This is on a trigonometric equation and also to determine solutions in specific intervals. This is what you're going to be having. And with this, do not forget, you have a test and that test is going to be covering all the content of term one. So make sure that you prepare yourselves uh, for these uh, exams which are ahead of time. Uh, that is it uh, till we meet again.